look at, so when I'm thinking about Zach Wilson versus um, Trevor Lawrence, I think you guys brought up some really interesting points about the competition, which I think is right. the thing that everyone's overlooking, right? The ACC was not very good. And there is that you go into it and you say, a lot of people want to like Trevor Lawrence. Like you could go and do a podcast being like, I don't like, I don't want to like the guy who's got his shirt buttoned up all the way. Or I don't want to like the guy who's got a right. headband that says any team, any place, anywhere, right? Who goes That's to a right. moment school. Yeah. You know, like right. that. So you, a lot of people went into it thinking that way. But I will say this, and I'm curious your guys' thoughts. Trevor Lawrence has been ordained in a similar way that I want to say a LeBron was. Where when LeBron was in high school, he had pressure on him every single time he stepped on the court where he knew if he missed an open receiver or an open layup or a dunk or a three yeah. or whatever, everyone was going to talk about it. And right. I feel like Lawrence has had that pressure. Now, his numbers have not been as good as people you know, want yeah. to think they have been, especially last year. And, and this year, we're a little less disappointing. But doesn't that count for something? The fact that he was the guy and for every game that he stepped on the field was the guy, whereas Zach Wilson... Zach Wilson, no one even knew what he was doing. He was out there playing at recess. Sure. No, uh, George, uh, uh, I, I, I'm with you. I'm not going to argue that any of that, what you just said. You know, first off, I, and I, I, you know, everybody just sees my rankings and they go, oh, this is an indictment on Trevor. Right, it's right. not. Trevor Lawrence is awesome. I, I've said, if anybody listened to my podcast and how I break it down, I said he's, he's worthy of the number one pick. He is definitely worthy. I expect him to be the number one pick. With Urban Meyer and the offense I expect him to run, he really fits that. So I got no issue with that. I'm just saying I like Zach Wilson a little bit more. But you're, you're right. He's been asked to succeed and performed on the biggest stages in college football, and he handles himself really the right way no matter what. He never gets too high. He never gets too low. And... Uh, th that aspect, yeah, I love that demeanor about him and, and, and the fact of what he can translate to the NFL as being a franchise superstar quarterback. I, I will say, though, when he proposed, he probably could have gotten a little lower. Knee did not quite touch grass. Yeah, but wasn't proposal. he wearing, like, white pants? I feel no, like he was not I, wearing yeah. white pants. <laughs> I feel like that would have been. <laughs> but, but I've, I've but, talked about the level of nitpicking with Lawrence. So, so let's, let's dive in here. So you have yeah. Wilson and Lawrence. Now, you would take Wilson one. If you were the Jags, I, I, I mean, I would. I think okay. Wilson to me is Mahomes or Rodgers, mm -hmm. where I just go, man. Who's Trevor Lawrence? The, cons the consistency of throwing yeah. is there every time. The power in the arm is wowing at times, where I just go, whoa. You know, you know, his feet and ability to move and make throws off of awkward platforms is as good as I've seen since Mahomes coming out in the draft. You know, so that I, I do. I love that aspect about him. I think his game translates more to the NFL hmm. uh, and and the fact that he's maybe in a little bit more of a pro offense and the way he can dissect and go through reads. It's it's impressive. You know, Lawrence, it is a little more of a college offense. Yes. And he didn't have to go through those reads that way. Sometimes it was a little like fake the screen and throw the go yep. right up the sideline and all you know, we're, we're very impressive throws. There's no doubt about that, you know, but too, you know, to your point too, George, like, you know, Cle Clemson's really good. They, they started a freshman for a few games this year. Oh yeah. Damn. They took the number four team in football. You're, uh, Clemson's going to be really good next year too. They are. So, 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 you know, again, don't put all this, we're in this era right now. We put all this success on the quarterback. If the team wins, we go quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. If they lose, we go quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. And then, you know, we turn around the next segment and go, this is the greatest team sport there is in America. <laughs> and you go, well, that's not what we're talking about. I don't know. It's so, it's just crazy to me that way. But I love Trevor Lawrence. He's got size, George. Size is a skill. He can throw over the line of scrimmage. Now he can I throw with people you. around him. Right? He's got yep. that over Zach Wilson for sure. Yep. His arm is legit, and there's some untapped potential. He's got some, a few mechanical flaws. Like you were talking about the stats and things like that are a little more underwhelming than people realize. That was the thing that jumped out to me mm -hmm. when I started to break him down. I just went, ooh, he misses more throws than I realized watching on TV over yep. the last few years. But not to the point where I'm like, oh, man, there's real trouble here. No, it's still... A lot of big-time throws outside the number, down the field, 
uh, back shoulder throws that I look at and I go, hey, this guy has got an incredibly high floor and an incredibly high ceiling and, and certainly worthy of the number one pick.